Uh, yeah, let's load this up. Now then, since we turned the stream off on Monday night, I have actually played this, but I didn't do anything important. I just rode north out of Ledechko to the herbalist woman's hut and ground out some potions. Not a lot, just to figure out what I was doing. And I'm actually going to make a video on how to power level that potion grinding thing up uh, for anyone who plays this and just wants a little bit of advice. Although I expect most of you playing in chat already know how to do this. So we're back in Ledechko. It is half past six in the morning. It took me a day. I didn't speak to anyone. I didn't kill doing? anyone this time. I committed... Well, I was going to say I committed no crimes, but that is not true because I stole all the potion recipes off the old herb woman and stole her money out of her chest. Yes, okay. Well, I maybe committed some crimes, but I didn't get caught. <laughs> I didn't get into any trouble. So that's where we are. And I only got... Watch this, right? Skills, alchemy. Alchemy is at level 7. I think it was at level 3 before. And one of those points came from reading a book which I had in my backpack. Well, I couldn't read it before because I was below level 5. So that is an entire game day, not one of my solid days. It took me about an hour, maybe, yeah, about an hour, um, to go up three points in alchemy. And I only got the other point from reading the book whilst I slept. So that's, uh, that's slow going. That is slow going. Um, I see a few people getting caught out by Nightbot and the fantastic... Um, no caps rule in there. We need the hands DLC. We really do. Um, well, I need to get this game finished and then there'll be room for the hands DLC. When you're trying to play a straight and narrow character, but you come across an easy chest with no one guarding it. I know, I know. It's there. It's meant to be done. Anyway, so I did level up alchemy a little bit. I didn't choose the perk from it. So I figured I'd wait for you guys. Um, I don't know if I'm going to choose one. I might wait for one of the later ones. Because we've got salted and smoked, which cured or cooked food in the inventory will spoil more slowly. I'm not really bothered about that. Food's not an issue. Not at the moment. Water of life. Healing potions will heal you 50% more, but also intoxicate you. Well, who cares about being drunk if you're healthy, right? Uh, the stronger the healing effect, the drunker it will make you. That Lazarus potion, which completely heals you, that'll give you a whiz-banger of a hangover, I bet, with that perk. Hmm, I might have to try that. Uh, trial and error. When brewing, you can make one extra mistake without affecting the results. I haven't made any mistakes so far. I think they simplified alchemy uh, in one of the big patches. So I don't want to take that. And venomous blade. Poison applied to a weapon will remain on the blade longer. I think I'm just going to wait because I think there's some better, better ones down here to spend the perk points in. And I'm not that fussed with those, so we'll, uh, we'll go with that. Is it stealing or is it borrowing on a more permanent basis? The King of Ming, that is a good that is a good point. My intention with the potion recipes was to borrow them, read them, put them back in the chest like you could do with other books. You can put them back where you stole them from after you've read them. I didn't know, and I found this out last stream, that once you read a potion recipe, poof, it disappears into thin air. So that, that kind of was a bit of a shame. So, yes, I did do a little bit of stealing. And the other thing I did was I ate from the pot in her house, thinking I've got a long, hard day's grind ahead of me. So I ate from the pot, and look at this. I'm still stuffed like a pig. Hmm. Yes, food in this game. Oh, I must have drunk something. I think I drunk an unknown potion that I found in the inventory as well. I would love to do that and, you know, suddenly sprout wings or something, or find out it's hallucinogenic. That would be pretty cool. Anyway, welcome to everyone else in chat as well, of course. All those lurking in the background. You're always welcome to lurk in my streams. Uh, let's see, what should we go and do? I have... See, I'm getting through these side quests. They're getting fewer and fewer, which is fantastic. Chumps on the river. It says to go back and shoot with him again, but I think I've pretty much finished that. I, think, I don't think I need to do any more. Then after a fantastic 19 out of 20 score... Uh, Henry's going to get fat if you are not careful. I know. I know. All this riding around on a horse instead of running around on foot and overeating and drinking. It ain't good. The green-eyed monster. Oh, that labourer wanted me to go and burn someone else, someone's house down, didn't they? Not sure about that. I've got to go and reskin the boars because I stuffed that quest up. That profits. I can't do the red deer liver because I need to hunt more deer to get used to that. Do some treasure hunting tonight, maybe. That's a That's a possibility. I've got a raid in the north. I've got a lot of stuff. What's this one? Lady Stephanie's jewellery. 
these are all under activities. I'll tell you what I'm going to do then. We're going to go skinning. Because um, I do know a good boar location. I'm going to go to that. The inn in the glade. Shall we fast travel? This is my boar location over here. Let's fast travel to this inn. On the horse. On the horse. I'm on the horse. Good. Because. Ha. This is me being clever you see. You guys have probably worked this out. We fast travel on foot. Takes the same time. But if you get stopped by bandits, it's harder to get away. Whereas if you fast travel on a horse, you get stopped by bandits, you can turn around and run off a bit easier. So, up there for thinking, down there for dancing. I've got it sorted now. On a side note, your cat is killing at least two rats a day. In Middle Ages, he would have single, single portly cured the plague. Good on him, Cookie. But where's he finding two rats a day from? That sounds like a heavily infested rat area to me. Okay, where have I turned up? I've turned up at the inn. Let's get straight along to the boar hunting zone. Just a bit of a hassle to grind. You don't really need to grind, though, since you get, like, three potions of pop at level five alchemy. Well, I think it's quite nice to level these things up. And some of the... Well, I don't think it actually makes much difference about your alchemy level, does it? Apart from getting extra perks. It doesn't, like, make the potions better, stronger. Other than the perks, of course, whatever benefits you pick from the perks. It's not like when you level up in, say, swords, you get better at the swords and you do more damage with them or you're faster with them or whatever, as well as getting the perks. I can't see any other benefit to alchemy. It's not like there's a, a minimum difficulty to some of the potion breweries. Hmm. That's a good point, actually. It might not be worth leveling up, apart from getting auto brew. Uh, that sounds pretty handy. The best perk is the one that makes it so you get... Four potions of pop instead of three. Hmm, that sounds pretty, pretty damn good. Hey, two key, two key for skill. Howdy, how are you doing? Oh, Cookie, you do live near nature area, so a few rats about. They do say that in this country you're never more than, what is it? 30, 30 meters from a rat or something, 25 meters? I don't know, maybe less than that. Right, so this time I'm going to skin the boars. I'm not going to discard the boar skin halfway through a quest later on. Free up space. I can't believe I did that. I really can't believe that's such a stupid thing to do. The amount of effort it took to skin these damn things in the first place. Have I actually put the marker down in the right place? Not quite. I need to go... Hang on. Yeah, I need to go north. Where have I put the marker? Oh, I haven't put the marker. Well, that would explain that. It would. In New York, you're never more than five feet from a rat. That's close. Well, even, even right, if you're in an elevator going up one of the big skyscrapers, I reckon, I reckon. Okay, let's go. Let's go find some pigs. We'll get an early start to the hunting. I keep seeing sunlight coming through the trees, casting weird shadows and pools of, of like light on the ground. I also think, oh, there's something to pick up, but no. It's just quite a nice effect. Pretty sure if you're wearing shoes, they also don't wear down if you fast travel on a horse. That. That's interesting. I always thought just your, your shoes wore out through combat damage that your armor takes when you get hit. There they are, look. Pigs in the distance. I never thought that your shoes might just wear out from, uh, man, I'm filthy, from, <laughs> from walking around. We shall have to measure that somehow. Right then, I need the hunting arrows. And we need this. There's loads of pigs here. Can we get one? Can we get one? Pig time. Did I hit one? I don't think so. Get one here. Doosh. Oh, I missed. How did I miss that? Come on, one pig could get all the skins I ever need. No! There's one. That got me level up in hunting as well. We do need to level that up for the deer quest. I don't think they're really aware of me, are they? Should be able to get him. He stands still. This is a problem. These damn pigs, they don't like standing still. Hmm. 
Armoured boots don't wear down from walking. That kind of makes sense. I'm not doing very well with these pigs, am I? There's another one. I was doing much better <laughs> with those chumps on the river. Um, did that miss him? That missed him. We've got ourselves a nice boar hunting spot here. Did that go right through him? Come on, pig. Gonna run out of arrows in this case. There's another one down. <laughs> I like the way they just they just roll over like they've got rigor mortis set in already. Oh, there he is. Da da da. What? I think that was a bit of flaky collision detection there. That one definitely stuck him in the ass. Right, we've got him. That should be... Boar hide. We need that. I'll take the arrow back, thank you. And I'd be tempted to take that meat, because I can cook it and sell it for a ton, but um, I think I'm pretty much loaded up. Hope the sequel has better hunting mechanics than the ones that made it here are super basic. They are a bit basic. They are. I think I've also got the perk that stops the animals running away as much, and I don't scare them, so I think that might explain some of that, but generally they should run like mad when they get shot. Not quite the same as field archery, right? No, not quite, General Blunder. I in field archery. My targets don't normally run away from me either. <laughs> Although, you get to some of the courses I've shot on, some of the elevations are insane. Like they do a Pro Series one. I haven't shot at this. Pro Series one in Belgium. It's for compound shooters only. And... Um, it is just for professional paid shooters. There's no, like, teams... UK or Great Britain or Northern Ireland or anything like that. The USA, I meant. Um, and they shoot at, is it Fort Van Leer in, in Belgium? Among the old World War One forts. And they are literally stood on top of the fort walls shooting down at a target. And it's it's just insane angles which plays havoc with your trajectory and your, your distances. It's also a really hard shot to make. Should be another one. Should be another one. I done him. Ah, okay. I think that's all four then. You aimed, aimed way too high in the first arrow. I aim all over the place on this. It's like getting your eye in all over again. And like when I was shooting at those logs on the river, you, you finally work out how far and below the log I needed to aim. But it depends how you stood on the river bank. See, if you stood flat on the bank and you're aiming at a point below a log and you finally get it right, that's good. But then if you're aiming, if you stood further up on a bank and you're aiming down, that affects how far up or how far below the target you need to aim at those close distances. So it, it's it's not like another game where you just get a, a cursor on the screen or a gun sight that makes it dead easy. This is actually pretty, pretty realistic as far as the archery goes. Poacher for life. You only ever did longbow heritage stuff. I've shot an English longbow a little bit. Didn't particularly enjoy it. it it's all right. And I've got an American flat bow, which is a bit easier to shoot. Okay, I should be good. Um, where am I going? Where am I going next? Because I'm just wondering if I can sell some of that boar meat. I'm going to be going to Talmberg. I don't think there's a rich trader in Talmberg. No, sod it. <coughs> Hmm. There's a trade. He doesn't have a lot of money, as far as I remember, so I'll leave the meat here. Did I get my hunting skill up? I did. It's at 10. Oh, hang on, hang on. Is that the... Uh, I can get awful from game. Right, well, let's do it. Let's do it. And then we can do the awful delivery quest as well. You had to shoot a, a bear over a cliff once. Terrifying hard. I'm taking it you mean like one of those foam bear targets. Or was it where you're actually hunting, hunting bear? You had a replica U-bow. It was a crude thing but shot beautifully. I had a replica U-bow. And here's a bit of uh, information for you that you might find interesting. Yeah, I bought a... It was a replica U-bow. 
it was an English longbow made out of sycamore, which is not a particularly great wood for making bows out of, but it was cheap. However, the reason I got it, I just wanted something to, to learn, now I'm going the right way, to learn longbow with. It was made by a bowyer called Steve Ralphs, who makes a lot of replica bows for film scenes and stuff. Like, I think he made a lot of the bows for the Robin Hood film with... Oh, who's that guy in, who was in Gladiator? You know, the Robin Hood film where they got all the accents completely wrong. That one. Russell Crowe. So, I think he made some of the films for that. He advises on films as well. So, this was basically a sycamore bow. And sycamore's quite a light-coloured wood. Uh, but the stain to the belly of the bow with a darker stain to make it look like you. Because that's how um, the U bows look. You've got the sap wood or the heart wood and the it's the heart wood and the sap wood isn't it heart wood well you've got the belly wood and the outer wood and the different colors on u bows um so anyway i bought one of those now steve ralphs i mentioned his name because you probably think why would i mention that no one's ever heard of a bow maker however you will have seen him i can almost guarantee all of you will have seen him because i believe he played the archer in gladiator who fired the flaming arrow to start the battle against the Germans at the start of the film. That was him, so he claims. It was a foam bear, was it, General Blunder? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, some of those U-bows are really nice. Like in uh, in the UK, people who shoot longbow, I think, oh, I want to get uh, a bow made with English U, because that's the best you can possibly get. It's almost certainly the most expensive you can possibly get. But um, in the Middle Ages, they did use a lot of yew for bows. They used a lot of ash as well. Uh, but the best yew wasn't English. The best yew came from Spain and Italy. And um, it was grown higher up on the, on the hills and mountains, and it grew more slowly, and that made it stronger than the English yew, which grows a little bit too fast in, a, in like a milder, wetter climate. So, yeah, the English U wasn't the be-all and end-all, apparently. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. Probably not interested. Right, we'll go through the woods. I'm going to see if there's anything on this bandit camp. I'm going to go and hand this quest in. Yeah. You need to try archery, and you? Well, in, in where you live, there should be plenty of places to go and try it. It's good fun. On Instalatus, hey streamer, you are the best marksman. <laughs> Takes a little bit of uh, practice to get your eye in on in this game, which is why at the end of last stream I did those those chumps quests where you have to shoot the logs floating down the stream. I did them over and over again till I got it right because once you know where you're aiming, it's easy. But um, when you come to the game afresh after a day's break or something, it feels like you have to get that aiming point all nailed down again. Sorry, folks, I just slammed the brakes on there because I've just seen this house. I found an interesting sight. And I wonder if there's anything in it. Because interesting sights should have something interesting about them. Cute little blue flowers that I can't pick up. There's nothing lurking in the back here, is there? I was watching one of ESO's videos. Um, I can't remember what it was on. I think it's about how to get the, the U longbow right at the start of the game. And there was one hidden in a broken down house. Well, it wasn't the bow wasn't exactly hidden in the house. You went in the house, it looked a bit like this, and there was a tunnel in the floor. And there was a treasure chest in the end of the tunnel. So I thought, well, I'll have a look next time I see one. But I don't see anything interesting about this site, which is a shame. Just a rabbit. Hmm. A shame. Halloween, you got hooked playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and watching Mark. <laughs> it is a bit confusing when you've got um, two things going off. A stream and the sounds from your own game. Where are you at in the game then? Are you, are you far in? Are you as far in as me? Not that I feel like I'm particularly far in. It's just that I've spent a lot of time doing side quests and other le lovely things. Hey, do you think I can do a... A cowboy uh, mount. You know when they run a Hollywood? Where they... Oh, that would have looked cool, wouldn't it? Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Land on the horse. No, 
Oh, over, over flew it a bit. And up. Ah, never mind. We'll just get on. It's a very well-trained horse I've got. Hang on. We'll just go down here a bit and we find an absolutely butchered body. This has got to be a trap. Wow. He's got some nice stuff. Bandits. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. I didn't kill anyone. The corpse was already lying there when I got here. I saw you looting the corpse. I was examining the crime scene. Skeen. I was looking at wounds. Crime scene or wounds? Hmm. How's this going to go? Maybe it's the victim of one of my old quests. Uh. Oh, I don't have much. No. I'm going to try this one. I was looking for signs of life. To see if I could help. Uh-huh. And could you? Unfortunately not anymore. All right. I suppose you're not the guilty one after all. I'm glad you saw sense. Yeah, what were you doing here? And what exactly were you doing here, anyway? What are you getting at? Hmm, I've got a good speech craft. Could do the drag him to the bailiff myself one. I'll do the speech craft one. It'll be easier for you if you can just chat. confess. All right then. Ah, oh, we did it. I didn't want to kill him. I just couldn't stop myself. There he is with money, strutting around. I've barely got enough to keep myself fed. Oh Don't dear. have to tell anyone, you know? And, oh dear. And you won't regret it. Fellow murderer. Hmm. Nope. Nope. Forget it. I won't nope. be bribed. <laughs> I've got to keep... I've got to keep the... Uh... Hang on. Come on, hit him, Henry. Get a sword out. Up, up, up. I'm gonna take I think I might take the bow out actually. And I've got hunting arrows here, and this should do though. Get right close, right close. And now Smack Surrender. Run. Come on, get him. Get him. Hey Pedro Polida, how are you doing? Cows? He makes it to that town with that arrow sticking out of him. One in the back should do it right here. He's still going. Good God, this man can run. I have my better arrows on, I think. Come on, Henry. This is no good. No good, lad. What's the difference in damage? Hunting arrows. Well, these... Oh, okay, quite a bit, actually. <laughs> right, let's try this again. If the town see me chasing this guy down and then slaying him, is this the best course of action? Undoubtedly not. Undoubtedly not, but it's the course of action I've set upon. <laughs> oh, that got him. Right, a ruffian... He's a wrong one. No, I was allowed to, otherwise it would say steel down here. So, yeah, we, we got that right. Um, that's worth a bit. We'll have one of them. And a bit of few Russian. Better get these arrows back, I think. <laughs> we had him stuck like a pig. Do I go and report it to the bailiff? That's the question. Oh, crap, I wasn't supposed to be going this way. And I was going to go... And um, I should have taken some more stuff off that body, I think. This guy's like Boromir. <laughs> uh, he took a few arrows to the knee. Right, so it's back to... Oh, Townberg, just to the north. Well, we nearly got there then. Yeah. Put that boat away. Don't want to look too guilty. Yeah. Uh, sorry, hello, and you were looking for Riki and Lech and Ledechko. But not that many side quests. 
I, I think I got caught up with so many side quests before I went looking for him. Which was great. Uh, it's a um, proper feeling of epic adventure in this. Right then, to the hunters. It should be one of these. I bet he sends me off for something else. Slam the brakes on on my 4.2 litre horse. Off over the fence. Right then, Mr. Brada. Greetings, good knight. How may I serve you? Get these handed in. I need a bath. Yep, you can have all four. He only needs three, but I don't need the extra one. Now that's what I call quality. That'll do me just fine. Here, you've earned a bit of coin. And like I promised, I'll teach you something. God be with you. Oh, what's he teaching me? Get my hunting skill up? Doesn't say anything. No more quests? Something here? No more quests? Oh, okay. I thought there'd be a follow-on quest from that. Have a quick wash in that... Can't wash in that trough. Oh no, it's uh, it's tanning some hides. Okay, I don't want to stick my face in that. It'll be full of... Um, what did they use? Dog shit and urine and all sorts of stuff to tan hide. Don't want to have a wash in that. That's for sure. Right, okay. Um, I should probably go and see the ladies at the bathhouse, I think. Before heading up into Talmberg. All the way around there. I've got a bit of thieving to do tonight. Steal into Lady Stephanie's room. Actually, I don't need to wait till darkness for that, do I? Because she's permanently asleep in the bed. She won't talk to me anymore. So we'll get cleaned up. And then we'll go and steal. I think I can I can pick the chest in her room now. Where's the bathhouse? Be hilarious if the game let you wash it in anyways. It would be cool, wouldn't it? You get, like, even stinkier. You could reduce your charisma to zero by rolling in shit. I <laughs> think that would be a good touch to the game, actually, if you wanted to play, like, some beggar or something. Get even filthier. I'd like to make use of the bathhouse's services. Uh-huh. And what do you want? Do you know that a deep cut with a sword actually wouldn't hurt? If it was really sharp. But, uh... Yeah, I wouldn't be the one to want to test that. Let's go for the works I'd on like this one. A private bath for two. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Good bath. I love that woman's oh. accent. It's brilliant. Oh. 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 Come on, Henry. We haven't got all night. Yeah. I mean, I I managed to my little finger almost to the bone with a pair of very sharp scissors once and that didn't hurt you didn't notice the cut at all and well you felt a bit more resistance i was cutting through some paper and i had one hand under it and just wasn't being careful enough and he did snip with the scissors and you thought hmm that felt like it had a bit more resistance to the previous 10 cuts through the paper ah hang on a minute yeah it was it was quite a nasty deep cut, was that? But it didn't hurt. 